Hey guys, this is E with Scrapbooking with Me, and we're going to make something today. And I was inspired by Rachel from Roxy Creations. Mine's not going to be put together like hers, but she inspired me when she did her little stacked, I guess you could call it envelope, folio type thing. Now, I have put some envelopes together, but I don't know if I'm going to be able to take them apart to show you how. <laughs> And get them back together the same way. So let me just do this. All right, I started out with a big one. This big one right here. And this one is, I'll tell you, basically the sizes of each one. And we'll hope we can get them back together, right? This one is five and three quarters by nine and a half. So this is kind of a large one. This is, um, I think someone sent this to me, looks like um, some bank statements or something like that come in it. And then this one is going to be our second one. It's going to attach on this side. This one was also sent to me by one of you. This is eight and a quarter by five and three quarters. So we're going to attach these two together and I'm just going to kind of even it up like that. Now I know this is not how she did hers. I'm not trying to copy her. She just gave me the inspiration. I'm gonna to try to do something a little bit different. We'll see if it works. Now I'm not gonna put my, I'm not gonna glue this flap all the way up to this edge. I'm gonna leave a little bit of room there. And you'll see why later on. Okay, not gonna use that. I am gonna use my Barely Arts glue. It has been working well for me, so, <clears throat> excuse me. All right, I think I'm going to cut some of this flap off because I don't need all of that just to attach it. So we'll just trim some off. Doesn't have to be straight, doesn't have to be perfect. Just trim a little bit off. And as you can see, I'm not going all the way to the fold. Right there's my fold. So I'm staying a little bit back from that fold. Now, I'm just going to try to center it from this side to this side. Doesn't have to be exact. But that'll work right there. There we go. Okay, so we got that one on. Now, let's see. <laughs> now we're at a loss. Now I want to glue this one on, on that one like that. And this is just a standard, I think, number 10, nine and a half by four and a quarter. So we're going to lift this up and put that one right there. And it should fit just right with this bottom one. It's the same length, okay? Now, let's see. I'm going to leave that one under there, I think. Okay, we're going to go this side next. Now, I've got this one. I'm going to glue this one to this little flap and this is the flap off of that bottom envelope right there and we're going to glue it this way leave this open i think yeah we're going to glue it like this so here again i'm going to put some glue on here Maybe mine will work as good as hers. I don't know. I've never done this. We're just, this is trial and error, so we'll see. And again, I'm not going to put it all the way up to that fold line, but I'm going to put it pretty close. There 
There we go. As long as it folds over well, and that does. And now let's see what we want to do with this one. Um, this one. This is where I get undecided right here. I might. I want them to kind of flip flop in every direction. That's what I'm aiming for. So we'll let's see if that works. Now, if that one folds out that way, then I fold that one out, then that one folds out, and that one folds out. Okay. All right. Let's do this first. Let's go ahead and put this side on right here. Now I have got this little. This is like a card envelope, and it is six and a half by five. So we're going to glue this one right under there. And all of these are scrap envelopes. I don't think I have a new one in the bunch, I don't believe. Or either some that someone gave me. Now on this one, I'm going to bring it on down close to the bottom, I think. Like that and then let's see I don't want to put that on there do you think I'm thinking hold on okay we're gonna glue this one on this side I think Oh, you guys are saying, oh my goodness, what is she doing? And I will go back over how I glued these as soon as I get them glued down. There we go. And I just put that one down close to the bottom. Okay, we'll fold that out. And I think this one, I'm just going to glue it right there. I wanted to glue it on here, but... If I glue it, if I glue it that way, it's going to stick over. If I glue it this way, it's going to be too long. So that it's not going to work there exactly, but I think it'll work fine right here. And I'm going to put it up close to the top since I put these down close to the bottom. And we can always open our pockets in different directions, so don't worry about that part. Let me make sure that this is going to work. Okay, put it down here. Okay, so there we go with that one. And then that would fold over, that would fold over, that would fold over. So there is our little stack of envelopes. Now, I'll go back to the very beginning and we'll go through this one more time. Start off with your big envelope on the bottom, and then you can start gluing any size. You don't have to have the size as I do. Just start gluing any size. Glue one to that flap from there, and then glue one to the back end of that one. And then I glued this short one to this on the top side. As long as they fold on the inside of this, that's what you're looking for. And then on this one, I glued it underneath on that back one. This one I glued underneath on that back one. And then this one I glued onto this one. And then, of course, this one again is glued. The flap on this one is glued onto that one. So all the flaps are covered. There we go, like that. I hope that made sense. The best thing to do is slow the video down and look at how I've got them laid out. This would be your number one. This would be your number two. And then you could do this one, number three. This would be number four. And then this one would be number five. And then this one, number six. And then this last one, number seven. So that's seven envelopes in there. And then you just fold them 
you know, you, how you want. I mean, you might want to fold yours the opposite direction, whatever, but just kind of fold them to where they all fold up into one little folio like that. All right, now what we're going to do, and see, I had another one out, and I could probably put another one on here, but I think I've got enough. I don't think I'm going to do any more. We're going to use some of the Bow Bunny collection that's called Family Heirloom that everyone got in their e-club kits. Now, I know this paper's not going to be long enough from here to here because this is a long piece here. This is nine and a half, and these are only eight inches long. But I can always cover my large envelopes with something else, or I can piece it if I need to. That, that doesn't bother me. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on the top envelope, I think. Or maybe not. Let's start on the back envelope. If I start on the top one, I'm afraid I'll mess something up. So let's start on this one. Now, what I want to do on this one is I want to leave this pocket open. Because this is, you know, it's far enough down there that you'll have a nice pocket. So we're going to leave that pocket open. So all we're going to cover is this. Now, since I don't have a piece of this that is large enough to go all the way from top to bottom, we may end up either piecing it or using a different paper to cover this. We can always pull in another paper that um, looks similar to this and use that to cover it with. So why don't we do that? got some of the same colors in it. It doesn't have to be exact, just some of the same colors. And you know what? This brick, and let me show you in this one. I know I saw it a minute ago. Look, brick, brick. Only it's a little bit different color, but that's great. So, now, my problem is I like this side of this. That's beautiful. But those colors are still going to match. You got your browns, you got your greens. So I can still use this one. And this is the collection. Uh, let's see, what's the name of this one? This is the Stamperia. Well, I'm going to put it below because. Oh, this is House of Roses. There it is right there. House of Roses is what this one's called. And it works well with this collection. So let's see what we want to do. I'm going to cover it there. So if I cut that off, that's going to cut right through that. Or I could put it up this way. Mm, I really don't want to cut through that. Let me look and see what else we have in here. Oh, we've got some beautiful papers is what we have in here. Okay, I think I can use this one. Maybe. I'm going to go ahead and tear out both of these and see what I want to go with. Any of that is going to match. So, And we're going to use a lot of our... Um, collection for the e-club kit. This is going to be a project for all the e-club kit members. So I think I'm going to cut that off right there. I'm not going to lose any of the flowers, but it's still going to be really pretty. So we're going to cut it there. And I'm going to cut it there. Now I am going to use my cutter on these. I'm not going to tear, I don't think. Just because I want a pretty straight cut. I don't think I want a torn cut because I want to cover all of these envelopes because some of them have a lot of writing and different things on them. And also this paper is nice and thick. So, well, I lost my pencil mark. Don't you know? Is that it right there? I don't know. Let me lay that back down. Um... Yeah, that's it. Okay. Uh, this paper is nice and thick, so we can glue it down well. We don't have to worry about uh, letting any parts, you know, any of these parts show. Uh, 
I don't know if that made sense or not. When I think of it, it, it didn't make any sense at all. Now, I am going to ink these, but you know what I'm going to ink them with? I'm going to pull in my vintage rose, wherever it might be. Vintage, oh, Victorian velvet is what we're going to pull in. I don't know why I said vintage rose. We're going to pull in the Victorian velvet because I think that's going to go really good with that collection there. With both collections. It's just a pale, pale pink. See, it works well. I like that. I'm going to ink around these pieces and then glue them down and then I'll probably ink around the envelopes later. I don't know that I'll stitch. I may just ink. And I have had a couple of people asking me would I do some stitching on camera. Yes, I will. I think I have said that before and I haven't got around to it yet, but I promise I will. It's just... Everything seems to distract me for some reason, but I will pull my sewing machine over here. I have to reset up my camera and everything because my camera's kind of low, so I'll have to take my camera up some and then reset this up and pull my sewing machine under so that you can see. <clears throat> and we will get that done, I promise. Okay. So I'm just covering the whole entire thing. Okay, then we still have that big pocket right there. See, I didn't cover past the end of that envelope. So I love that. Now I'm going to go ahead and put my paper on the back while we're here. That's just going to cover this back part and close up that window since I don't really want the window open and I think what I'm going to use on the back I'll, I like to use a piece on the back that I wouldn't normally use on the front of anything is this bamboo I would not normally use this on the front side of anything but I'll definitely use it back here it won't be a problem and it's still I mean it's not ugly it's just that that's just not me. And see, the other side is the back of the paper collection. So, it's a good place to use it. <laughs> uh, you know I cannot see where I just made those marks. Can I? I'm pitiful when it comes to this. I'm telling you, why do I mark it so light? Come on now. Come on, Edith. Alright, there we go. Oh, and again, I want to stress this, and I'm going to stress it. <laughs> no, I'm not going to stress it. I just want to let you know, I have a lot of people who say, Oh my goodness, I've been calling you Eve forever, and you're saying E. I am so sorry. Don't worry about it. I don't care what you call me, truthfully. I say at the end, I mean at the beginning of the video, what I say is, Hey guys, this is E, which is big capital E. Because my grandbabies and a lot of different children over the years have called me Miss E. So that's kind of what, that's kind of the name that adapted to me over the years. So now a lot of people just know me as E. But um, I don't mind what you call me. Truthfully, I don't. You can call me E. You can call me Edith. Edith is my name, but it doesn't matter. You can call me Eve. I've had some people call me Eve, and that doesn't bother me. Don't care. So you just choose. Golly, that's hard to see on that side. Why don't we just mark it on the other side then? Duh. Why well, I'm struggling with that when I could just mark it right over here going to be the same cut. <sighs> My problem is I mark it and then I lose it. By the time I flip it over, it's gone. It's 
So you feel free. Look at that. I did not cut that the right length. See, even though I marked it, I did not cut it the right length. So we're just going to piece it. I'm not going to worry about it. I'm not going to worry. So you feel free to call me whatever you choose. Well, maybe not whatever you choose. Don't call me ugly names. No, I know you guys wouldn't. You would not do that, I know. But it doesn't matter with me if you call me E or Edith or Eve. I don't care. Edith Ann. I have been called Edith Ann. Okay, put that down. Then we'll put this one down. And I'm not going to ink this back part. I don't think it needs it. There we go. That works. Okay, now we can flip it back over. Now we've got a nice sturdy back, a pocket there. Now on this one, huh, I think I'm going to have my pocket up here on this one. Maybe. Yeah. So let's go ahead and cut that open. Glue this back down right here. And what do we want to cover this with? Oh, our our paper pack is gonna be the right size for this. Hmm. And you know what the good part about this is? <coughs> Excuse me. It's single-sided, so you don't have to use the paper up that you don't want to use up. Oh, it's going to be a little bit short. A little bit. But I think since this envelope is brown, I'm not going to worry about that. So I'm going to take this little piece here at the top off. So, we can just even it up, I guess, around the envelope like that. And then I'll come back and ink it. But I am going to cut it off some. Cut it off right there. So, what have you guys been up to? I have seen so many beautiful projects on the group. Oh my goodness. You guys are more talented than you want to admit. I'm telling you. There have been so many beautiful things on there. And I haven't got to answer comments yet on the videos. I'm sorry. I'm behind probably three videos. But I will get caught up as soon as I can. We've just had a lot going on lately, and by the time night rolls around, I'm not in any frame of mind to do much of anything. Okay, let's see. Yeah, that's going to work. So, I'm going to put that down right there. Move that down right there. Okay. Now we're going to put glue on the envelope and not on my page. So we don't want to glue our pocket together. So 
So if you've got your hands on this glue, tell me how you like it. I love it here. Now I know in different areas, sometimes the glue reacts different ways in different climates. So I'm anxious to hear how it's working for you. But so far for me, it's working just like art glitter glue. Not having any trouble. Look at that. I took it too far. My glue too far. So let me know in your climate if it's working well. Okay. Now, make sure we've still got our pocket in there. And we do still have our pocket. That's covered, and I like that with that. Then let's go ahead and cover this side. Hmm. Hmm, that's pretty. Let's just use that one. And I may just cut off right below that little hole and um, use this top part too. I just, I think I'll do that. Okay, we have new paper collections coming in, hopefully next week. It's going to be some that we have, it's a brand new company, some we've never carried before. I'm anxious to get those in. They look very, very pretty on their website, so. And I know you guys are gonna love, a, really love a couple of them, I promise. Because they're right down our alley as far as outdoors, forestry, animals, plants, things like that. I can't wait. And someone asked about the New England Stamperia. You know, we got in some of that last week, and it was all gone by Monday. I think we got it in on Friday, and by Monday it was gone. I've got more ordered, so hopefully that will be here soon. You know, the one thing that I do really like about this glue, and I like it a little bit better than Art Glitter Glue in this aspect, um... It gives you a little bit of wiggle room where Art Glitter Glue, when you put it down, it's stuck. This one, you can move it just a little bit for just like a second or two. I like that part. Okay, so we got that one open up there. I'm going to um, cover this one next, and I think I'm going to leave my opening here. Yeah, I'm going to leave my opening there. And this is going to have to be a nice tall piece. Well, let's go back to our paper collection and you know we could use the other side of that I think that would go good together got some of the greens and some of the pinks there in here what you think mm, I don't know I'm, I'm, I'm saving that piece when I flipped it over When I flipped it over, I thought I wanted to save it. This is pretty. We might just put that one there. Or this side. Yeah, let's do this side. So... We shall cut it right there and right there. Hopefully I marked everything dark enough. You know, my eyes are horrible now, so, or at least my one eye. I still can't have my cataract surgery until all this mess dies down some. So, I have a lot of trouble with one of my eyes.
the other one is pretty still pretty good yeah that there <clears throat> Well, they would do the cataract surgery now if it was deemed absolutely necessary for me to see. But I'm still at that point where they say that if I can put it off, it's better to put it off a little bit longer until they can kind of get this virus under control. That way, no chance of me catching it, hopefully, if I have to go in. There we go. Now... We said we was going to leave this open, didn't we? Hmm. I think I'm going to cut it out here. I just think it would be... I don't know if it would be difficult to get something in there or not. And I did cut this a little bit wide for that. I could always trim it, you know, cut it down, but I don't want to lose any of this. So I think what I'm going to do is open it out here. So let's just do that before we glue that paper down. So, you know, you can open these wherever you want. It's up to you. You could open this to the top if you wanted to. But I'm thinking I might open it out here and let that be a, maybe a tuck for a little notebook or a letter, something like that. There we go. That way we'll glue right down through here and on the envelope. Then we want to glue our pocket together, hopefully. I'm sorry if you can hear my stomach. I'm not hungry, I just ate. That's my problem, I just ate. And then I turned on the camera. I was listening to my video back the other day when I was hungry and oh my goodness my stomach sounded like a shark or something in the waters all right now there's our pocket and we didn't glue anything together so we got a nice big pocket there let's cover this side you see why you need to leave a little room when you glue them together because you want room to fold those over so let's cover this side with something. I may just go this route right here. So don't be afraid to mix your collections. I know I've had people say, all I have is a six by six pad. I don't know how, I can't do that. Well, you can just mix your collections. It doesn't matter. I've mixed six by six. I've even pieced six by six pads before. Piece the pieces together. Nobody's gonna know. Oh, too big. So let's do this. I was trying to keep from pulling this big one up. Let me move my computer back some. Hopefully that didn't cut me off. Nope, looks like it's still recording. Sometimes I move it and I accidentally hit the wire that um, the recording little wire and it'll cut it off. Oh yes, I like that. So we are putting the, we're slowly getting the AJ kits together. And oh my goodness, guys. I don't know if I can even part with some of this stuff that we're getting. <laughs> I want it all, you see. Plus, I'm going, um, probably in another couple of weeks, I'm going to a big craft show. Well, it's not a craft show. It's more like a, um, what, do we got? what do I want to call it? Like a vintage type I don't know people have booths and they sell different vintage things there so I'm going to see if we can find a lot of things to go with it at that 
And then in at the last of March, I will be going again to another one. And I'm going to try to find some things for our next one. For the next AJ kit. Which will be, let's see, that one's going to be March or May, June. Is that the next quarter? June or July? So, I'm going to be doing a lot of hunting and shopping the next few weeks and I can't wait. I like to do that. Okay, let's go ahead while we've got this one out and cover this. Now that one, I don't know if I didn't glue it up tight enough or what, but it's trying to hang. Let me fold it over. There we go. It's better. So let's go ahead and cover this one. And what I'm going to do right here is these little edges of that back envelope flap. I'm going to trim those off. So we don't want to worry about having to cover those. Vintage craft show. That's what I was trying to say. It... Uh, Everything that they have, it's like old books and old, just old things, materials, things like that, vintage things. So that's what we're going to be doing. Now, let's cover this side. That one is the exact size right there, all except the height. Hmm. I may just go ahead and use it. Uh, instead of having to cut another one up. And it's got those exposed bricks. And that's in the paper collection too. Yeah, there we go. That is if they don't cancel the craft, the vintage fair, I hope. They don't. You know, all of them have been canceled. We don't have any around here at all. I'm having to go out of state to find them, but um, I'm hoping they don't cancel it before then. Hmm. Well, now I'm looking at that side, and I like that too. Now I'm going to go ahead and put down the pink. Hmm. Wait a minute. All right, I'm going to open this one at the top. So I'm going to glue this little flap down right here. Yeah, there we go. Glue that down. Okay, so there's that. Now we'll cover this side. And this is going to be showing on the outside so we want something really really gorgeous right there and i'm thinking this Let's see how much will that show how much of that will show yeah our bird and our flower will show so let's do that there and There. Yeah. Now I've had also had people and I just have to tell you this as I think about it, you know that. I've also had people asking when they will be able to sign up for the AJ kit. That sign up link will be in the March first. Um, newsletter so if you are not signed up for our newsletter make sure that you go over and get signed up because the link will be in the newsletter and if you miss it I mean we're only gonna have I think 40 kits so if you miss it it's just gonna be missed let's see if I go that way I'm cutting the bird off hmm I'm trying to decide now. 
See, I think I want the bird. So I think I'm going to cut it the other way. I know, I'm changing my mind in midstream, right? That's what you do, though. Erase that mark so I don't cut it wrong, hopefully. And I've had some people say that they didn't get the newsletter for February and they were signed up. If you signed up and you're in our newsletter list, if you put your email in there, then you should have received it through the email that you provided. Um, look in your junk folder. A lot of times, if I'm not on your acceptable list of emails, then it will go to your junk folder. I look in my junk folder every day, especially if I'm, you know, thinking about I'm going to get a email from somebody and I don't see it. I look in my junk folder and nine times out of ten, it's there. Now, I do have a couple of people that, for some reason, it will not let me send you an email, and I don't know why. Not saying that you didn't get the February, I'm just saying somebody emailed me yesterday, and let's see, I think it was Linda Ellis emailed me yesterday about something, and I tried to email you back through every email link that I have for you, and it would not let me. It kept saying, it kept sending it back and stopping it saying invalid email, blocked, that kind of thing. So I don't know why that happened like that. But um, if you'll let me know how I can send you an email, I'll answer your question for you. All right, that one's going to show to a little, this edge is. And I think I might just do it in I think I might just do it in this. It's just a like a book page. Okay, let's cover this over. Let's see, only this part's gonna show. And just a small amount of that, just that much is gonna show right there. So I think I'll just use this on this one. I like that it has that little bit of pink in there. That's pretty. So let's put that down there. And I think on this one, I'm going to open it on this side. So I'm going to go ahead and open it. Now, if you want to open your envelopes before you glue them together, you can. My problem is I don't know where I want them opened until I get them in here. Now what? Let's see. I may just go with this. So we've got a little bit of that teal showing right there. And got some teal and book page showing here this was a huge paper pack that we have in the e-club kit I know your kit looked like there wasn't that much in it this month because we decided to go to a larger paper pad but it was the same dollar amount as when we put the six by six in there it's just that you know, that six by eight is a, quite a bit more. It didn't make the kit look like it was kind of empty. But I tried to give you extra freebies. So I, I have loaded up today all the freebies that I made for you. So you can go over and download those. And then I have a couple more freebies that I will be giving to you uh, during the month. So make sure that you watch for those. I've got, uh, I'm working on a couple of different templates right now that I will be giving all the eClub Kit members. I have let that stop up on me. So, hopefully, 
Hopefully that is okay with you guys. I hope it is. Let me know if it's not. If you feel like you'd rather have the 6x6 six six instead of the 6x8 six and then more of the other type goodies, then that, that would work for us. We just, we're trying to, you know, satisfy you and give you things that you that we think you might like in your kits. Trying to change it up some so it's not the same old same old every time. And believe me, <laughs> that is not easy to do sometimes when you're having to rely on. And yes, I put that over that, but that's okay. That's not that much shorter of a pocket. When you're having to rely on the vendors to get you enough product for, you know, 100, 125 kits, it's not an easy task because most of the time, they don't even have a hundred of anything lately, or 125 especially. So it's a little bit hard at, right now, but we're doing the best that we can, and I hope that that's okay with you guys. And I'll try to show you as many projects with this kit as I can. Okay. Now, I'm going to go ahead and cover this side, and I'm going to open this one up here, I think. No, maybe. Let's see. No, I'm going to leave it open down here. That's going to be quite a big space. So I'll leave it open here. All right. Let's do that. So let's find a paper in here. I love the maps. I may just go with the maps. This one's pretty, too. I love the numbers. I like all of this. That's my problem. Let's just do some of this. We've not done this yet. Okay, now don't you make sure you tell me to put the glue on here and not on my paper. The sun is coming in and it is getting warm, warm, warm. But if you're an E Club Kit member and you want to go back to the six by six paths then all you have to do is just, we need to have enough that bone on the six by six pads and we'll go right back to them. Just let us know. You know what? I said I was gonna leave it open here, didn't I? Ugh. See, when I get my mind on talking, I forget what I'm doing. Okay, I need to not glue that. Not glue right there. So, now I need to cut this piece off a little bit. I think I will glue it down and then I'll cut it off. That'll be alright since I've already got my glue there. Then I'll have to cut an opening there so you'll know that's a pocket. Once this dries, I don't need to talk and try to do this at the same time, that's for sure. Okay, now I need to cut an opening here before I forget that this is going to be the pocket. I know it's not dry and I'll probably have to stick it back down, but we're going to go ahead and do it. Just so we know where the pocket is. There we go. Now then, now you could cover this if you want. I don't know that I'm going to worry about it, but you can cover that part. Now for the outside, let's see. I'm really thinking these. I know that's kind of busy, but I think that is pretty. All right, we still got that one to come over. And then this one goes under here. Yeah, I'm thinking that's going to be that one. And then on this one, I may put something a little bit more subtle like this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So let's cut this. 
Now this one, let's cover this side first. And I think I'm going to make this a top loading pocket. Just going to trim a little bit of that off. Right there. And have that at the top. And I need to glue that little piece. Just the little piece down right there. Um, let's see. Let's see. Let's see. I think we've already used. We haven't used the cameras. Let's use the cameras. There we go. And now we have this front side that we're going to cover with this. Isn't this a pretty paper collection? I have not had the eight, uh, eight in this. Um, I have had the, a few pieces of the 12 by 12 before, but I've not had the 8 by 8 but this is so pretty. And it's a lot of it. I've still got enough paper to do two or three more projects. Yeah, let's do that. I'm going to go in a little bit on the corners. Alright, let's see if we got all of our pieces covered. So there's that one. It opens at the top, so we need to cut a pull in there. There's that one that opens here. This one, and it opens at the top. Doesn't it open at the top? Where did I open it, guys? Did I open it? Okay, for some reason, it's closed back up, so we're going to open it again. I probably glued it together. Okay, that one is open at the top. We need to put a pull there. Then, this one... We opened here. We need to put a pull there. That one is open at the side. We need to put a pull there. This one is open at the top. And then this one is open here. So I'm going to go ahead and start my pulls. And I am going to cover this. I'll just take a scrap piece of paper and cover that. Then let's go ahead and put our pull up here. If I can get this th thing in there. Let's see. And I'll cover that. So there's that one. There's that one. Then we need to put a pull up here. And this one. And I'll put a little bit of paper behind all of these that I am putting pulls in. Just so the inside of that envelope doesn't show. Okay, so we got that there, that one, that one, that one's on the other side. We got this one we need to put a pull in right here. And got to pull in that one. And we need to put a pull in this one. Ooh, that one's almost too little. I may have to... Yeah. I'm going to have to use my little punch on this one. won't be oval like the others, but it'll be fine. All right. There is... Let me make sure I'm closing this right. Put that down. That goes down, and that goes down. 
So there is our little uh, envelope folio. Now what we're gonna do, I'm gonna come back and put a little notepad in here. I'll probably put a notepad here and then I may add some pages in here. I may put another little notepad or notepad or pocket. I may put a pocket across here. We'll do some different things to it and I'll probably do that tomorrow because I think this video is already long. Let's see. Yeah, it's already long. And then we'll do some embellishing. In the meantime, I'm gonna go ahead and ink everything and just uh, make sure that I have all my pulls in there and put some paper like down in here, that kind of thing. And then tomorrow we'll come back and we'll put our little notepads in there and some embellishing on here. All right, guys, that is it for this tutorial. I hope you really enjoyed it. I hope you will give this a try. And if you do, please share it over on our Facebook group. That link is directly below. If you got the e-club kit, I hope you are using some of these papers. I think they're absolutely beautiful. There's some of the little designs that we got in there. Some little pieces of ephemera. I think they're gorgeous. We're going to use some of those. And we will talk to you guys later. Thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Bye-bye.